Hello everybody, and welcome back to the newest Play for Project on my channel. I'm Nicholas, and today we are starting Supermassive Games. The Dark Pictures Anthology with the first title in this series. And that is... Man of Maiden. Or Madden? I'm actually not sure. Generally, I'm... 100% blind going into this. The only thing I know, like what I now looked up, was what Madden means. It's apparently a city in Indonesia. Is that is that where the city, uh, where the game will be playing? I don't know. I'm fully blind on this. Okay. So the thing with super massive games is that after the success of Unto Dawn, we for a long time did not have anything in that direction, and now every single year they've since 2019 released um, one game in Unto Dawn like direction, but more as a shorter standalone. Called the Dark Anthology Pictures. Starting over Man of Mini in 2019, then Little Hope in 2020, then House of Ashes in 2021. In, in a few weeks or months, not sure yet, the, the release date was called Fall, where we don't have an exact date yet. They will be getting the fourth and final game in the first season of the Dark Anthology Pictures with The Devil and Bee, which we're also going to be playing. And ahead of that, we're now going to be playing through the other three games, okay? Very excited for this. Like mentioned, the only thing I really heard is different compared to those other games is that they are much shorter. Okay, like five hours or so. Well, both Until Dawn and the Quarry went more into like a 10 hour direction. Until they think they have a bigger cast and more characters and whatnot. Okay, I think that's the only difference there really is. Other than that, it's going to be a choice based horror game where every decision we do matters and it's our goal to keep everybody alive. Now, for the quarry, we managed to kill five of our nine counselors. So let's see how how well we're going to be doing here. Okay. Again, fully blind. No idea what to expect at all. Um, new the anthology. View other games in anthology. Yeah, exactly. We already bought other games too. So this is just a matter of time till we get there. There's your bonus content, collectibles. I think we're also going to be having like clues and all that kind of stuff. I'm excited. Okay, I'm really good to see which direction the games will be going, how different they will be from another, what the, you know, like, Until Dawn and the Quarry were very similar in the sense of, you know, this teeny drama, teeny slasher, uh, genre type direction. Let's see, which direction? Man of, again, Maiden, Madden? We will find out. Play along. Let's go. <sighs> oh. Zola story. Oh. Continue new story, load story, scene, se oh, scene selection. That's something I would have loved to have for the for the quarry because you only have like a chapter selection. So, you know, you got to like play through an entire chapter to get to a specific scene as an example. Generally, I would have loved if the quarry has a cutscene skipper and whatnot because if you really want just to get back to some specific scene or moments, you have to play through everything again, okay? But we're starting at the Chinese market, China South Sea, okay? So it may really have to do with Madden, the, the city in Indonesia, okay? New story. New slot. Theatric card, obviously. Let's go. It's um 2 a.m. right now, exactly 2 a.m. Given how short it is, I might either play for it is now in one go, depending on how I feel. Oh. Or I decide to like, you know, do it in two sessions. Oh, but this definitely looks instantly very different. Uh -huh. Like far away from a teenager drama, but I think more of adult characters. Go to your station. Oh, so it's a uh, setting going to be on sea? On a ship? That would be cool. Okay, so it's a burying, I think, for your soldiers. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. I don't want to interrupt. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a fight. Hey, 
Give me a Whatever. Quarter. I don't want to pause right now, but it will make subtitles on the first time we get into playing ourselves. Let's have it. Show. Post. Oh. Oh, so this place. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. So okay, that that's cool. Okay, so we're playing at a Asian setting plus. Close after World War Two. That's already integrated. Um, setting though. Brightness look actually it's one hundred anyways. Okay, probably would have done that. Audio and language. I want definitely subtitles on. Okay, wait, what? I show you. It didn't didn't even change anything. Accessibility. Subtitles. Subtitle background on. Wait, what? There weren't any subtitles. Or am I blind? Is my is my mic again in the way? I don't know. Okay, so I just cut out the rest now. Um, Joe, selfish, reckless, altruistic, and insecure. What is altruistic? That's a word I've never read before. What? Oh, 56. Oh, damn. Altruistic. Never heard that word. Earrings and pictures. Showing a disinterest and selfless concern for the... Oh. Uh huh. Okay. All right then. Um. Here is. Tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Okay. So, so is he has a son. So I guess go for the son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he? Uh. Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Dragon tile or bamboo tile. Um, the dragon has the same, you know, has the heart as a symbol too. So I guess go for that. Press and hold R T. B to examine. A fish. Like a fish? Huh? Your wealth can come from any direction. But when the wind blows such a storm, the death and the pain will surely come along with it. Death? Wait, what? Interesting what does that, that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Well, I obviously didn't want to hear that one. Hey, Interesting, though, that he understands he Chinese, oh, yeah? but like, it's hey, probably easier to understand it, but not speak it himself. Fine, sure. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. Drop my grave, damn it. I'll give it a whirl. Okay, let me guess. Quick time event practice here. Very likely. Aiming? Oh, what? We're actually gonna have like full on combat in this game. And not just quick jump events. That would be. That would be cool. But probably also. Oh, yeah. It's like a quick time event and a sense of. Okay. It's obviously a bit more to it than. Uh huh. I feel like the aiming will be much more difficult than the general quick time events. Like along the fact that it's on the same side, you know. I like, would rather use my left thumb to do this. In both hands. Like... Oh damn. Oh yeah, these are going to be... Yeah. Damn, okay, this guy... Oh, oh. Like I'm karate master. Yeah. Like I'm instantly like I'm thinking about using, you know, you know this side of the controller, not the other one. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. That grape is still fine to eat. Don't worry. Grab. Okay. 
So we're gonna have a lot of actual combat in this game. Like, you know what means combat, but like, this is definitely going to be diff more difficult, you know, to like get into the right position and then click a button and just click a button. Obviously, ain't you good to see? Oh, toxic? Something toxic in a in a wooden casket? Tanks or something? Maybe. Obviously, it would be interesting to see what would be the threat, you know? What would be the threat towards us? We also get monsters here. Would the darker fall pictures go for something else? Knocked him out. My medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Okay. So I guess it's punishable to be drunk on the ship. I think it will have to increase the sound a little bit. But again, why are there no subtitles? Like, check the settings, but like, only saw subtitles background and not, you know. Okay, so we're playing on an actual ship. Oh. There's a leak. Oh, so it are tanks or what? Gas? Toxic gas? Wait, really? Zombies? Is that what's gonna, you know? Like this toxic type of whatever. Bring the dead soldiers back to life? I guess, maybe. We see. Okay, so he's having. PTSD, is that the name for it? Joe, sick bay. Oh, it's the middle of the night. One thirty AM. Okay. So we're Joe. Insecure, eager, guarded. Huh. Okay. That's quite intriguing. Find a way to escape the sick base. So we have these toxic whatever in there. Chemicals, gas, whatever. And we saw them, you know, around the dead soldiers in the casket. So I guess that's how that's going to be the threat in this. Maybe. Likely. We'll find out. Did a child photo of us? Yes, so. Is that our first picture that we can get? I don't know. Okay. During the Resident Evil Classic. Well, what means classic, actually? Like, you know, the good old dead body in the. You know, obviously I am already a little bit tensed up and therefore prepared for anything. So, you know, I expect to scare me on every single corner. Hmm. Put him there. Like, was he trying to hide there and died? Like, obviously he's he, he was still here, so... Huh. Actually, I think it's a sound fine. Ah, I can judge it. I guess we just just we're just gonna leave. Actually, I will check one more time about the subtitles. I know, and I decided to you know 
make subtitle colors and all that kind of stuff on this time. Maybe that's what helps, you know, like there wasn't a typical subtitles on off the uh, thing. The ship as a setting is, is scary though. I can actually move already. The ship is a really tense location, especially like, like this one. Even though actually the ship section was probably the most calm one in the entirety of Resident Evil 7, simply because we were already like, you know, used to the atmosphere at that point. Also, we fixed cameras like this though. Like even more fixed than usual. Like Howdy, this, Charlie. The How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. Charlie. Wasn't it Nick? That was Nick and I going on up there. I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a Wait up. a corpse. What? In the sick bay. We, we, Something's wrong. We didn't even Let's get, get like opening credits with names, but his face seems familiar to me. Let me actually check in here first. I think that makes sense. Yeah. It said pro Why do I ha keep have to hold RT? I already thought that the controls are a little bit wonkier. Well, that is clean. Um, in a private Charles Anderson on leave from duty, did this play intoxication? The matter not becoming of a member of the. Okay. Private Anderson was engaged with another soldier in a drunken argument. Charles Anderson. Okay. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men will return to their ship. Okay. As for getting drunk as a soldier on a ship, seems not like a good thing to do. Break weeks 27. Arthur Miller. David. <laughs> really? David Davis? Gonna thought about something more creative? Petty theft, small items, mass recovered, out of limits. Uh huh, uh huh. Louis Brandt, public intoxication, Robert Reed, Von Jung and acting probably for use army person while on shore leave. Uh huh. Yeah, so if you don't behave, you you, you get punished. And you get oh, there's, oh. Sir? Or like Charlie, did you have anything to say about this? Maybe? Oh, into the cell itself? Find something here. Ah, I don't see anything to, to press. No? Okay. Alright. Let's move forward. Yeah, you just waited there for me. That's that's quite nice from you, Charlie. Charles. Oh, yeah, but... Uh, mm, the camera is a bit... I don't know if it's a bit... Press A in time with the heartbeat? Um... Like, hold it? Or... Hello, soldier? I mean, he's not going to shoot us, right? This is a cool mini game, though. I like it. Okay, he seems. Quite messed up. He's like he might have seen something we haven't seen just yet. Oh, it's here. Check here quickly. Can't get in there just yet, I guess. Nope. Huh. So what would have happened if he would have found us there, you know? Obviously, that's a big question here. Butterfly fact, blah, blah, blah. Well, nah, nah, he wouldn't have shot at us, right? What was that? Okay, child. Oh, the, oh I see the gas floating around. Toxic gas can't be healthy. What you looking at here? Gonna be going here yet? 
I saw a child running in there, so I guess I'll just check here first. Where did he even come from? Isn't there a wall on the left to us? Hey, Charlie, help. Okay, still see no subtitles. What the hell? Oh shit, I messed it up. Then just let me do it again. Come on, back here. This time I know what to press. Okay, so I gotta press A enough times. Fuck. Never mind, dead one, okay. Okay. Should have expected, yeah, okay. I flinched, I closed my eyes. You got me. I give it to you. I mean, it's the same thing we did earlier, but I was so focused on pressing A at the right moment and, you know, looking into the thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I give you this one. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, though. Am I continuing here on? No, I... <sighs> Why are there so many rooms to go through? I think this is the right path and the other one was a bonus. Wait, can I... Oh, no. Really? Man, I saw Chai running in there. I thought that's where we're going to continue. Now the way is blocked. Oh, great. This, this is starting perfectly. I'm already getting scared at a repeated, you know, at a repeated jump scare. I literally did a few seconds earlier. Another stint? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Oh, he looks... Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fuck. He has a fiddle. But why is ice the way they are? Like, no pupils and everything. And I would have obviously loved to find out what was behind the door with the with the kid. But huh. Damn, the ice though. Huh. Okay, but this is a quick raid at, uh, of jump scares, so, you know, I should probably tense up even more. Yeah, stress grapes. Burn. God damn it. Oh, but we still have the gas running around. Right? Man, you know that when you have, like, still the bit of... I don't even call it with the... Wait. Oh! You could have told me that a bit earlier. Can I get to the right there, or is it just... Uh... No, okay. Hold LB. Walk faster. Let's do that. Is that LB? So, uh, Keep forgetting it. Is Wait. Is me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Like now nah, you, you saw kids walking around you saw corpses no strange feelings at all okay so this is locked guess we need a key for that hmm when we have something like that like resident evil where we get like items for specific areas and then have to return later Oh yeah, it's definitely a different feel because you know. Why is the camera panning the way? Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Charles. Uh, no. You feeling all right? Okay, they've been doing these too smartly. Okay. I don't know why the first one didn't really get me then, but like. I'm like so focused on the middle of the screen, you know, first with the A thing to see, okay, how far is my progress on the bar there. And now here to focus on why the camera is panning out, like looking to left the right, and then boom, they just throw it in. Damn it! Like it's not scaring me, but I'm like still flinching. I don't want that. Stop it. <laughs> I think I've already flinched. Yeah, okay, these clothes up, you get it. These are, you know. But, um. I think I've already flinched more here than in the corner. <laughs> okay, we got a gun down. Uh, gun down. Gun down. I guess we'll have to aim. Why do you still hear kid noises? The gas. How haven't they noticed it yet or like mentioned it? I expect that one, but. Come 
kids are always just so much more scarier than you know. Oh God, no, Charlie! Wait, what? Well, I was Charlie. I was like, wait, I thought I remember the face. God damn it, kids' noises are great sound design, though. Really, are they comfortable to listen? Son, what's up with you? Wait, is it? Ghosts? What? Did he just die of a heart attack? I mean, he definitely had one. But hey, honestly... This feels like very real. Because that's honestly something I've want I've wanted here and there. And until dawn and Hello, you know. Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on. Wait, so Joe's out for now? Or is Charlie dead already? Should I should I have not shot? Would it have saved me? What the why did that look like a Hekachontari? Well, Hekachontiris? God damn it. Greek, Greek mythology monster. Uh, I don't think that is gonna do anything. Like it looked like the... Like the... Ouch. Like the collector from... Yo! This is such rapid speed right now. What the hell is going on? So much is happening, so many people just getting killed, it's... Like, we have toxic gas, we have... Was it just the intro still? Was it still just the intro? I guess, probably. <laughs> Damn, okay. So, a lot of the scares made me flinch already, not bad. I was gonna get copyrighted, huh? Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, that was all just intro. Okay. Sean Ashmore. I think the names themselves will probably not tell me anything, but Ariel Park. Yeah, you should. Is uh. Okay. That was an intro. Okay. That was already. Chris Sandy for Kareem. Well, what is <laughs> Who's my man with the cool hat, though? What's the ring girl doing here? Well, looks at least like her. Started by Super Magic Games. Okay, so would this be something like with Max and Laura in the quarry where you know we will find them later on again? But yeah, I actually enjoyed the fact, well, <laughs> what means enjoy, but like, it felt realistic that he just gets a heart attack, you know? I mean, his friend just got, you know, shooting through him, monstrous face or whatever. Like, it always seemed a bit, you know, not weird, but like, Man, this this already beat me kicking though. I like that the characters always reacted so calm to these type of things, you know? To so to see a reaction like that feels natural. Hello there. Hello. Hey. And welcome to my repository. Are you going to be the lies of the game or the was it Doctor Hill? I forgot the name again from the the characters from Under Dawn.
I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories oh. of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. The curator. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it mm -hmm. and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Hmm. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. Uh -huh. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Uh -huh. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. Hmm. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Ah, okay. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better so decisions. So the totem slash cards? Or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's it's a bit like a fourth wall we'll here, but again soon enough we'll have okay. the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. I like his I like his humor delivery. So he's the curator for Could it be could he be appearing in all games? Like that's how they connect? Like that all the stories are part of the book he just opened and he like curates for all of them? Maybe? Oh yeah, this looks a bit like Indonesia. Like at least looks like a holiday island. And I guess now we're actually going to get character introductions. Because I know the other two were just thrown in a little bit. Witty. Oh, Brad Witty. Alex's brother Innocent. Oh, Duke of Milan. French police. Okay. Oh, I didn't look at date. Damn it. Okay, Billy. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure, motivated. Oh god, too many names already and too many. Wait, is we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, Just uh, about to say, it looks like <laughs> the blue Power been. Ranger from one of the yeah. seasons, but the water, diving. Maybe, maybe not. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I had to work, it's embarrassing. Say nothing. Interesting that we have to say nothing, but... It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Oh, I mean, in that sense, I thought he was about to say it's embarrassing that I did not learn, but... <laughs> Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I was invited. I'm not good with people. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. Achievement unlock brought her Julia? You know? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Okay, that's definitely... Cynical, it's been two weeks. Nah, two weeks can already be, you know. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. That's really a difficult huh? combination. <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these. Like medical yeah, school, you come home and yeah. your girlfriend ain't there for you after stressful Aye. relationship update. Okay, let's go for that first. Okay. Oh, we're four. Okay, we're four characters. 
That's obviously way less than in the quarry around to dawn. Uh, wait, what am I talking about? Brad, not Billy. Where did I read? Ah, uh, Brad and witty became Billy for me. <laughs> it's Brad. Uh, innocent, envious, truthful, witty, eager, anxious. Oh, I like how these are like floating very little. So these are probably like not, you know. That's the only thing. Like this was very absent in the quarry. You know that we really didn't have any of these character trait things going on. But instead, you know, like there wasn't really a focus on it, which was okay. But like, just interesting. Okay, so we have Conrad, Fliss, Julia, and Alex. And Alex is the other guy, I guess. Can I, can I swap around? Brad and Fliss? View Brad, rela Brad's relationship with Fliss. Nothing there yet. Oh! Oh, so, uh -huh, I see the character, and now I can check the... Wait, no, so we have five characters, obviously. Brad, Conrad, Fliss, Julia, and Alex. And now I can, like, check my... Ah, okay. Brad empathizes with Alex. Brad felt insecure after Alex said he's embarrassed of him. Brad was offended that he's considered a tag alone. Okay, so the first two things were, you know, not that good between the two. But it was good for the relationship that I empathized with him. Because again, long as relationships are really, really difficult. And then when you like mention a medical school, you know, which is probably one of the most stressful things you can study. And you don't really have your, you know, your girl or like your, your partner to, to help you afterwards. Or like during the day afterwards. Hey. I just at home. So, uh, Give me tough. Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's just a uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Hmm. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Give it some thought. Go with your gut. Definitely some thought behind it. I always overthink, sure so. You're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutation. Bearing. Oh. Brad told Alex to think things through. So bearings are basically the, the path slash butterfly effect of this. I mean, I think it's smarter to think things through rather than, you know, just instantly go with it, you know. Can be can be just wrong. Okay, so, oh, so we, we have eight overall. So this was the first important choice. Let me guess, we'll have something to do with his girlfriend and like, should I close it or not? Maybe? Secrets though. So many secrets, damn. Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless, excited, and Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed, foolhardy. So, they're siblings, and Alex is. Oh, sorry. Girlfriend. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, boy. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> ah, they made me for the first time, okay? Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with me. Yeah, cool. I get seasick. Yeah, sure, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. I can shirt. Tight. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Hey. I don't, but... Relationship updated. Was it with Conrad? Conrad liked that Brad had a beer with him. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> Always good. Uh, I think that's like the, the right one on downside. I like the cut of your ship. To me, not drinking and smoking, and you know, generally not. It's way easier to socialize if you drink beer and smoke. You ever do any diving before? Never. All the time. How am I supposed to know if he ever did diving? What? Ooh, say nothing, I'd say. Hey, don't look so worried. It's gonna be fun. Okay. Hey, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Okay, final character coming in. Fliss, captain of the Duke of Midland, courageous, impatient. So the ship is hers. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Now when she talks, people listen. Okay, so that is our crew, these five. Oh 
Oh, damn. Why does you just leave the call like that there, huh? Oh, well. Should have guessed that, maybe? If I get the option, you could be seasick. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. I can't actually judge if I'm seasick. I've only been on a big boat once. North of... Wait, where's French Polozini and that police? Now, what did I say earlier? What about over here? June 20th. It's but pretty far out of one? the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, oh. I know some nice places. Oh, she ain't, escape, uh -huh, you know? so. A nice dive. Probably nearby to, you know. Brad did his homework. Brad was so sure. Ah, no. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Alex's motor. Uh, Alex with Fliss. Alex was frustrated with Fliss. It's going to be interesting if these relationship updates will like determine specific situations, like with Ashley and Chris. Keep your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah. Yeah, looks like World War Two. We are ready to die. Hmm. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? And dive? Who cares? Both doesn't feel quite helpful for the situation. So just say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. So is this like I can't a... wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Is this like a mission? Or is, are they like just diving together for fun? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few... I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Already forgot, is he like the actual brother or just, you know, <laughs> already forgot that. Um. Yeah, so the story thus far is basically just, yeah, they're out here. But I haven't really, you know. I don't think there might be a way in. Oh, let me guess. I'm expecting a jump scare 1000%. 1,000%. You, you, you can't fool me. We had this in Until Dawn. Shh. No matter what. Can't see anything, though. Up in the sky. It's going to be one of these, you know. Depending on how long you, you, you stare for this, you... Something may happen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a beer bottle, okay? Is that what was I supposed to see? I don't know. Maybe. Nothing really to see there for me just yet. But again, I'm just into hey, good... Hey. Hi, sweetie. About the... F There's a little gap huh? in the tail. Take a look. I they out here diving for fun? There's research... Okay, so this definitely plays after the events of the prologue, 100%. The question obviously is, what will happen with the characters we saw? Or did Joe just die? Maybe. Probably. It's like a... But like, can we actually enter there? Would there even be like parts or like, you know, where we can actually like breathe? Or like, can actually go inside where like water hasn't entered yet? I'm going for the same photos, by the way. I already... That's enough. I think I probably already 
check for them more than necessary. Can I talk with my man Conrad? Hey. Hey back. I can all just say hey. God. Walking is clumsy we'll still. The gear good to go. Need a hand? Thanks for paying. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Supportive. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Ship update. Action Jury had the same opinion about Fliss. So, you know, so Fliss is the captain, and they're like, basically, there is a group of people together, you know, going outside diving, but she has to, like, take care of them. Okay. Understand. No pictures just yet. Still no secrets. I don't know how, am I how are there supposed to be 50 of them. Like, what? 50 is really a lot. But per se. Oh. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Paid a lot for this. Yeah, but you still gotta think about rules. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules. And laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. I mean... How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Enough to know the rules. Dive the couple of wrecks. I mean... Dive the couple of wrecks over the No years. way they get offended That's if she true. says we need to inform you know, people experience. that they found, you know, World War II stuff. Wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. Exactly. Like, For how do you get know, offended by... A war grave. Getting told that, exactly. Illegal and immoral. I get it, how much? Who's gonna know? Compass. I get it, how much? Do to get down there? I don't know. But who's gonna know? Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. I understand her. I understand why she's so, you know. Oh, but we have two lines going at the same time. Alex was frustrated with Fliss. Alex apologized to Fliss. Fliss acknowledged that Alex had some diving experience. Okay. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Watch your sunshine. Do you know how to use that? Uh, I don't even know what it is. Not really. You might want to just let it do hey its guys, thing. Tanks are ready. Why did you just? Thanks a lot. Thing. Eh? Why did it? Did it just now? Just what? Did I not do anything else with it? Can I go down there? Yeah. Big, big Brad is down there, I guess. Maybe. Probably. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's a picture. Huh. What am I looking at here? Ammunition unlocked. I and dry. So he's. Is this where we are right now, the wreck? I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. He's laying there or hiding? And then he stands up, so I guess he survives. Huh. Okay, so they actually work like a totem. So character themselves don't see anything or, you know, but we as characters see it. Okay, that one was hard to... Um. Yeah, this is the, this is this location here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this location right here, right? Save with 9 overall 2. Yeah, this is this spot. 
So, you know. So something will infiltrate the ship and you will have to hide? Maybe? I guess? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that Bruski got the better of me. You should know better, don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I think I'm always going for the more sympathetic options rather than, you know, going like, yeah, I should have known better and all that kind of stuff. Are we going to do another one? I'm not yet. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Shroud of Innocence. Huh? Perfume? This is... It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Shroud of Innocence. Can I can I grab something else? Yeah. Ah, no! Keep it! Hey. The... <sighs> Why do I have to press hold everything so long? The controls are really not that that good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We put that one back, and now I want to grab the book again. Thank you. Now I hold it, so he probably opens it this time, or at least can. <sighs> I must read for anyone with an interest in the solemn witch trials of 1692. Witch trials? Like, generally, again, <laughs> what did we see there? I saw a thing with four arms. I saw, you know, a kid running around with some ghosts. Uh, I don't know. Okay, a lot of, a lot of weird things. That'll all need a little bit of explanation. There's something else still. Oh, yeah, just look at her full name. She do a uh, French name. It's in structure identified on the rear is authorized to occur class and it is not if I die fast the federation. Uh -huh. What does it tell me? Is it expired or Okay? Um so let's go for the tanks. Hi, please. Do you have to stand at the right angle? Okay. So, this is the Their controls are a little sure bit wonky to me. Scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You got to check your O2 first. Looking good. Thanks for setting me straight. Thanks for setting me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Ive. Looking for a first friend of himself, I guess. Take, take. Uh. Wait, the one is the camera. I don't know what the, what the other stick is. What is You're what is? The camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get it before the bubble. wheels. All right, kids. Good to go. How do I am supposed to know what the right thing was? What? Talk or take? I mean, she's gonna take it, so. Bitter later tonight. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post. Like, she's gonna take it. She's just said it herself, so, you know. That front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Rates updated. <laughs> yeah, relaxed, actually excited, insightful. <laughs> yeah, that overview is, is funny. Go to the evening. Hmm. Could I have gone upstairs on the boat though? That's what I'm wondering. Probably not, it didn't look like it. Okay, so we're taking a dive. Oh. Oh, so we actually have like. Oh! 
Yeah, that makes sense. But shouldn't we, shouldn't they know if sharks are in the area? Hey, a souvenir would be cool. But again, where are the subtitles? Damn it! Not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That chief. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That wasn't a very deep dive. I heard it was quite. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Why's there a bottle in the sea? Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not? Hey, Corrid is a Corrid is. He's just trying. He's just trying to have a fun time. You know, he ain't about to dive in. He's just there to chill. He's just there to vibe. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. You don't ask later about your money. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Oh, he's a rich guy. I built this business from scratch. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Relationship update with Conrad. Liz did not appreciate Conrad flirting? What? What did- wait, what did I- What did I use that would- have? Hey, what? Okay. Wait, okay, now it's clear. Wait, now it's activated again, but mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Huh? Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. In sense of what? Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? What's the blip supposed to be? Is it is it a, is it a shark or is it a different ship? I know. Hey there, how's it hanging? Taking advantage of your election time, you can monitor or dive. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Too bad charm isn't among them, so are you beached? I was saying too bad charm isn't among them playful, what? So are you beached? Like a whale. Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I sw I have to keep track of the dive, but... <laughs> Dang nice it! One. Got a smirk out of me, too. That one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. It's updated. Witty, relaxed, courageous, guarded, generous, excited. Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Brighter than you. Boom! Game set match. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Wait, where do I gotta go to? Here? Like, what's my goal? Manage to boat while the others dive. Okay. Let's look out again. Maybe she's seeing something this time around. Oh, yeah, the music is already stirring up a little. I won't see anything in the sky, but okay, the bottle is no. Never mind. There's the bottle still. Why is there a bottle? What's it, what's it doing here? And there's 100% going to be a jump scare at one point throughout this class. 100%. Huh. What else to check? Uh, 
try and take contact with them, I guess. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Oh, that's not good. Is there anything new when checking this? Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Oh, I'm probably not. Okay, so... You... Can I go up there? Uh, I gotta go down now. I wish you already saw the picture here. Guess I gotta talk to... How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Go easy on the booze. Hey, it's a vacation. I'm always trying hey, to be nice. It's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I don't even see the entire letter there. Hope they know what they're doing. What do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? How'd you figure it out? What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Damn. Yeah. Is ship updated? Oh, she was able to get there. Oh, there's another picture. Uh-huh. Oh! Why do I keep these around? Cut and run. Found during uninvited guests. There's someone with a gun. Is it Alex or someone else? I like the picture though. Wait, the pi is, is the picture like a pirate attack? Is that Alex? I can't... It looks like someone is, is, is coming close to their boat. Maybe trying to take it over. Is that Alex with the gun? I can't tell. I think so though. It looks like someone is trying to get close to their boat and Alex is shooting at them? Wait, no, there are more than nine. What am I talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen overall, okay. Huh. Hey, Fliss. That was the boat we heard That's earlier. Or like we saw on the radar, I guess. Oh, so now we're using the... About? Fishing boat from the looks of it? That's not the coast... That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Why not let me handle it? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be oh. quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Man! How's her being confident being not gotta be a dick to him? Oh, that's not the bottle, that's... Oh. Get out of here, we've got divers in the water. Worried. Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water. Oh, so these were just random people actually? Just just casually driving by? No? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad, let's make it twenty. Oh, that's... Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Is it throwing it in the right, water, sure or...? It's a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. You dumbass. I know you're rich, but, like, what would you... 
He seemed so chill and relaxed, and I don't know, he's just like, you know, that was a bit weird. Didn't really feel like his character at all at that point, but... I know. Again, though, is there going to be... Oh. Oh. Can we, like, actually enter this? Like, in a way where we can actually go and breathe? Probably not. But these people have been here for a while. But again, it's so... Conrad it's really not even deep, so you know? Conrad, it looks really? like just... Really? I don't know. The rear turret. Not even a kilometer oh. or so. But what am I talking about? Cologne is actually a lot, like, not, like, just a few 56 meters or so. It's all Pacific Rack side. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, that's just gonna be something popping out, huh? Not yet. Oh. That was quick. I didn't have my head on... Hence my... On my... We <laughs> dangerous. Oh, if oh, if I would have hit this, I would have been bloodied, and then the shark would have smelled us, huh? Oh, I'm already. Can I just take Ooh. a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it! I mean, can you believe? Oh, not a photo. Devil in the deep, found during dive. It's Julio with Alex and. She's not feeling so good. Question is why? Oh wait. Did I already miss two? The way the, the way the pictures oh wait, never mind. This came okay, never mind, so not necessarily yet. Wait, it was the same thing. Yeah, 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 I got it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Julia won't be feeling so good. Potentially. For some reason, we may not, we don't know yet. Wait, I should have to. Come events. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. Oh no, that we do not. Tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Oh no, I saw one with. No. No, 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 no. As someone with huge claustrophobia, I ain't doing that shit. For now, I won't even go. Nope. Nope. I do not need that. Sorry. I do not need that. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Secret found. Missing lifeboat. A lifeboat is missing from the B-29 plane. It happened launched during the plane's mission. Oh. There are 50 of stuff like this? What the f- It's 40. Hmm. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. I feel like I've already been missing stuff. Good God. Should I do that? Ugh. What do you expect? On pass? No, like picture of a swipe probably? Hey, but like, man, do so the face you usually, you know. What the hell happened here? Pick up for research. But obviously, they don't have anything to pick up. I also think it's a good idea we took the camera so we can, you know, have not necessarily have these as evidence, but. Yeah, no, did she take the stick? No, we're not. Let's check it out. What's she hearing? I don't know. Um, Julia had to use knife to open the cockpit door, breaking. Oh. Oh.
But she literally said she would take it. That's why I didn't talk to her again. Oh boy, was that a mistake? Now that we do not have the knife any longer. I mean, it's still usable probably as a weapon. But now that we don't have the knife anymore, we may get injured due to it. Oh no. Really? She literally said she would take the damn thing. So what speedboat? Why am I already... Wait, isn't that, isn't that Joe? That I'm seeing there on the speedboat? Isn't that Joe? That looks like Joe to me. Like, man, I don't know which... Wait, never mind, we are playing in the... Like, like, Flynn was born in late 80s, so this must be, like, early 80s, so this must be playing, like, early 2000s or something, but... Why are they already showing me... <laughs> Why am I already seeing Joe there? I think that's Joe, right? Is that a spoiler within the game itself? I don't know. Okay, but that's obviously a bit, um... Problematic. How about this gun? And she literally said she would take the bank stick herself. God damn it. I think I went my wet suit. And life gives you lemons. I hate getting ha Stop making me flinch game, man! I was like where is it coming from? But then it just sprung straight from about high on my list of ways to perish. Do not like this. Stop it. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Alright, let me go inside again. There was still something to do. Not necessarily here, but maybe on the left. Maybe front? No. Yeah, but we definitely have a lot of jump scares in this. Way more effective ones than the quarry. I don't know why exactly, but like somehow... Like, you, I just knew once again, the way the camera was done, that it, I would be, you know... That something would be happening, but like... Damn it. So are you coming, or am I supposed to talk to him? Something. Yeah, I know. But like, why is my my bro nuts? Am I supposed to still be in here and doing something? What? I know. I don't know why Alex is moving. Move me. Like, where where else am I supposed to go? To the left? No. I guess we're just going back. Explore the B twenty nine wreckage. I mean, I'm doing that, but where, where, what? Alex? Oh, there's something I didn't check yet. So good I went back, actually. Oh, bullets. Secret found, uh huh. All down the fuselage. Anti aircraft shell found, yeah. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Oh, no, we're back here. Wait, I guess I had to find the secret? Did I have to find the secret to unlock this now? Oh. Oh, when they did that up there, then this happened, I see. Oh, there's 70, yep. 70 something coming. Oh god, Alex. Shit, now we don't have a knife. It's a great reed shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Are you sure about that? Again, I think if I would have stopped my my leg earlier, then we would be bloodied oh. now, and they would uh, definitely follow us. Okay. I. Uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's. Not the best time. Down here? You're kinda distracted? Had something to raise with me? It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just 
kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. Oh, I just realized. Like plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Just realized break, okay? my face cam is actually not in the best He's position. Really get up top. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We what? Got there. Wait, we have to decompress. De what's decompress? My brother's up there. Damn it, yeah, okay. I should have been here. I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. What means decompressed? <laughs> sorry, I didn't know. What the fuck's going on? This is taking too long. Fuck it, I'm going. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Shit, did we... Did someone die now because we didn't go up fast enough? Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. Hey, Beering updated though, so this was an important decision. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Hmm. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Yeah, you don't see every ah damn it. What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who but cares, but right? we also had someone ready there on the left bunk, so you know it oh, can't really We found the plane. And it is huge. Too much against it, sorry. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line actually. How bad? Uh there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. How are they supposed to know they did it, though? You know? Oh! Hey, sir. Guess this was the first chapter? Probably? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth and Julia the love of Alex's life and he the love of hers what about Conrad a bold fellow you might say or maybe you'd say arrogant and then there's Captain Fliss strong forthright stubborn she appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you. Special you feature. Help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 